There's my angel sleeping. We went on a bit of an adventure today. We went into another house. He loves that. Now I'm going to try and draw him. I'm not very chatty today. Start again. Oh, God. So, I was just talking about hot flushes. And then I had one. And then Piggy moved. So I took off my... I had to take off all my jackets. I'm now sweating like a pig. And I was talking about Andrew Huberman, who has an excellent podcast. It gives you so much information. Oh, he's at Stanford University, I think. What a wonderful thing that he does, you know, full of admiration. So there's a call out to Andrew because he also loves dogs and he had a lovely bulldog. If he could please do a podcast about menopausal hot flushes. Just try and save an old bag like me who is plagued by hot flushes. And I can't seem to do anything about it other than take estrogen, which I've been advised not to do. My beautiful boy, look how beautiful he is. I'd love, there has to be an answer as to why they happen and how you could possibly get rid of them besides taking estrogen. <sighs> oh my God, now I'm freezing. It's hard this drawing animals business because they keep moving just when you think you're getting somewhere. But then he moves. He's so handsome. He's the most handsome man in the whole world. And his ears are up here. Better map them in. Up his ears. Try not to wake him up. Looking like a wolf again today. In this drawing, he doesn't look like a wolf in reality. Poor little piggy, he's been very. See, his face has gone splat onto the. whatever you call it. His little snoozing pad. He's been very clingy today. I think it's maybe because he lost a tooth the other day. It was horrific. I get very stressed about being a bad mother, letting him pull his own teeth out with his bones. But it's very hard to work out how to stop him from getting gum disease. How does he how does he clean his teeth? You can't give him dentist sticks, he'll swallow them whole. He'll swallow anything smaller than his head will go in whole. Dentist stick, gulp. Um can't really clean their teeth because A he probably wouldn't let me and B How's he going to rinse? Rinse. <laughs> Almost ridiculous. So how do you clean their teeth other than giving them bones? I 
he has this most beautiful paw coming out here. Let's see if I can get that in. It's going bite off more than I can chew, like him. But it's a very elegant paw. Has to, I have to attempt to get it. Process as an urgent project. The ele elegant poor must somehow find its get done. It's even got a delicate wrist like that. It comes down like that. And there's a pad here. Cool. And oh, so beautiful. I've never had to cut his toenails. So in that sense, he's a very low maintenance dog, but being a um, very um, emotional dog, he's quite high maintenance. And his eyes. Very important to get the eyes right. Shiny forehead. Such a beautiful shiny spot. These are all shiny areas. And the rest of his body's coming back. Up and around here. His shoulders around here. And then it's very broad. That goes right off the map, that one. Giant broad shoulder. If I shut up and draw, maybe I should call this shut up and draw. So back to his tooth and his teeth. What do you do? You're trying to clean them, but I'll show you at some point what happens when I, I once got him some beef cheeks and I thought, oh, this will be great. I'll tie them to a tree and he'll slowly chew them so that he won't ruin his, pull out all his teeth on his bones. And uh, we just started at one end and just kept eating and took the whole thing in in one thing. Lucky I had a rope on it, so I was able to pull it out <laughs> because that totally would have been a choking hazard. Anyway, you'll see the video, you'll see what I mean. See the rope there? Well, lucky I had a rope. You got it. Oh no. You don't want to get too much in. Ow! Puppy! Puppy! <laughs> oh, I don't want you to rip your eye of the last. Oh no! <laughs> it hit my teeth. So that was the where, where the cheek flipped past my clothes, licked all over my clothes, and then swung around and landed in the branch of that tree and then you'll see the next the final attempt I uh, he got the whole lot in his mouth and he started to choke and I had to pull it out with a rope and I lost control of the camera and you'll see I panicked dropped the camera 
and just tried to get it out of his neck. And there's a lovely shadow coming off here of this magnificent arm. It's kind of salt and pepper there now. Body is rocking. <laughs> He's gonna wake himself up. I think I could be in danger of losing this drawing. Trying to survey the whole area. Get it all in. Beautiful, shiny, so shiny about it. These little grey chops. Lovely nostrils. Food just moved. Well, get that head bit right, but it's just moved. Just should I keep putting stuff in or not? 
we'll just leave it just leave it can you see that <sighs> I'll show you the video of um there you can see that I'll show you the video of me uh, trying to get him to munch the beef cheeks chops and uh, so to clean his teeth so he doesn't get gum disease it's either your teeth or your face because he's losing all his teeth on the big bones I give him so the teeth or the gums or as a friend of ours, Michael Johnson, used to say, if you're dieting, it's either your face or your bum. I'll pick his case. It's going to have to be his teeth, I think, because he's already lost a few. Okay. All right. There's the drawing. Mm, it's okay. I've got to learn to draw faster. And here is... My little baby's tooth came out the other day. Shocking. Look at that. Poor little man. Boy, that must have hurt. Oh, I think I'll put it in, um, what do you call that stuff? Resin. Make a brooch out of it. It's not that attractive though, is it? This is the disaster we're trying to stop. Quick swinging addendum, I was talking about Andrew Huberman. Sometimes it's hard for me to get my lips around things. <laughs> um, a neuroscientist, professor, Ubermensch, and dog lover. And he does some seriously good videos on YouTube. That's how I found him.